Article 21. Freedom of expression and opinion and access to information. This article begins with four comments highlighted in panels. Stop labeling and change language too. All people to have access to information and communication tools and assistance. HUI participant. Difficult getting accessible information. Disabled people need to become visible in our country. HUI participant. The amount of care taken in regards to accessibility varies a lot across government websites. Some are easy to access, some are harder. Survey respondent. Referring to government websites. Not all headings are well marked for a screen reader. Filling out forms can be patchy. Some don't give alternative means of making contact if the site doesn't work. Sometimes hard to complete responses in the right places. Survey respondent. Introduction. Article 21 provides that people with disabilities have the right to express their opinions and to seek, receive and share information in forms that they can understand and use. General Comment This article requires a whole-of-government approach to ensuring accessibility in the two-way flow of information and legislation to ensure that this is extended beyond government and into the broader public arena. Importance of Article 21 to Disabled People in New Zealand Missing out on information and being unable to express opinions prevent disabled people from participating fully as citizens and being able to fulfill their rights to interact with government and the wider community. Current place of Article 21 in New Zealand law and practice Government agencies are mandated to meet web accessibility guidelines. The government's accessibility charter aims to increase the amount of government information made available in a range of accessible formats. End note 170. Currently, there are no legal or financial penalties for private companies that do not meet accessibility guidance in the websites or information they produce, nor is there a legal requirement for mass media to include accessibility in the content that is available on television or via the Internet. The government's accession to the Marrakesh Treaty may make it easier to access and share some forms of accessible information. End note 171. The treaty's aim is to allow people who are blind, visually impaired or otherwise print disabled to access books and other literary works in accessible formats. Committee's previous dialogue with the state on Article 21. In its list of issues, the Disability Committee questioned the government on Funding for New Zealand Sign Language, NZSL, including interpreters. Accessibility of information for disabled Māori, in particular those with hearing and vision impairments. Steps being taken towards making the accessibility of information legally binding, including being able to access information and to convey views in a range of formats such as Braille, Easy Read, Audio Description and Captioning, and measures taken to ensure organizations meet web accessibility standards and invest in assistive technologies. The government's response highlighted increased funding of $30.2 million for sensory schools and NZSL in the 2018 budget and $1.25 million in funding through the NZSL board strategy 2018 to 2023, end note 172. It acknowledged the shortage of NZSL interpreters, particularly trilingual interpreters. There was also recognition of challenges around the proficiency and fluency of interpreters and the variation in access to qualified NZSL interpreters based on geographic location. The needs of deaf Māori and Pacific peoples are included in the priorities of the NZSL board, but there is no specific funding for access to information for Māori and Pacific people. The government's response to the Disability Committee notes that the use of NZSL is increasing, including more schools offering NZSL, and also notes the likely increase in demand for interpreters through individualized funding. The government reports that it hopes that the introduction of its accessibility charter will provide increased access to information, with a focus on increasing provision of government information in easy read, braille, NZSL, and audio formats. 
Government funding of $2.8 million was provided in 2019 for television captioning and audio description. Currently, this funding is only allocated on a year-by-year basis with no assurance provided to the agency contracted to deliver captioning and audio description services that this funding will continue beyond each financial year. Comment on the realization of Article 21 in New Zealand. Although government agencies have been required to meet web accessibility guidelines since 2017, there are still aspects of government information that are not available in accessible formats. The Accessibility Charter should help ensure that more government information is provided in accessible formats. End note 173. NZSL interpreters are now used at the Prime Minister's post-Cabinet press conferences and were used in 2019 for many public announcements, including events following the Christchurch mosque shootings. Captioning and audio description are limited to a few television channels. Some captioning, but no audio description, is available on TVNZ On Demand television accessed via the Internet. The government has ratified the Marrakesh Treaty and the copyright Marrakesh Treaty Implementation Act was granted royal assent on 12 August 2019. This treaty was adopted to amend copyright law in such a way as to allow access to printed works by providing them in accessible formats. The government is considering implementing accessibility legislation that could have a positive impact on the realization of Article 21. End note 174. Although progress is being made, participants at the IMM consultation HUI expressed their frustration at the lack of accessible information available to ensure full access to community life. Some reported difficulties arising when using new technologies with automation, making access to some services difficult or even impossible, saying, bring back the people. It can make the process much easier than a robot. Recommendations. The IMM recommends that the government, 63, expand the Accessibility Charter to include local authorities and district health boards. 64. Pass accessibility legislation requiring private providers of information, websites and mass media to include accessibility. 65. Enable disabled people to communicate more effectively with government agencies by increasing the number of accessible formats available so that disabled people can express their views in New Zealand Sign Language and use Braille, Easy Read and audio formats to engage fully. 66. Increase access to information and communication for disabled Māori, including increased provision of interpreting, captioning, audio description and easy read in te reo Māori.